Hello there, it's Nooch. Wanted to do something a little bit different this week. We've got all these, the new update coming. We got uh, lots of things going on with the game right now, but wanted to take a look at, do a couple of roster reviews for LEGO Legacy. A couple of people that Nooch has known for a long time um, and that are on Nooch's Discord server could share their rosters with Nooch. So we're going to share with you, show you a couple of different rosters, maybe give you some ideas for what you can do with your roster in the future, how you can farm different ideas for that. And I'm looking for more people. If you've got a, if you've got like a newer roster, you've been playing the game for a month or two and you really want to have somebody take a look, we can do that here. Uh, we can do a, we can do a show on that. We can take a look for you, give you some ideas of what you should do with that roster. And, and that can help other people while they're playing too. So that's the goal. Help other people by showing them how experienced players are playing with the roster and then maybe bring in somebody new as well. So let's take a look at first, our first roster, Papa English is Nucha's first language. Our first roster review is going to be Nucha's pal, Bricktini. All right, here is Bricktini's roster. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that Bricktini has 75,000 gold, 75 million, pardon me, 75 million Nooch missed some zeros there. 75 million gold for Bricktini. So Bricktini's been playing since December 2019, which was a few months into the soft launch and uh, two or three months before the actual game actually launched. I think it launched in February 2020, right before, you know, pandemic. So uh, Nooch, he's been playing since before the beginning and he's entirely free to play. Bricktini's never spent a dime on the game. So he is all about hoarding. You're gonna see as you go through this roster here, all of the hoarding he's doing, he's just targeted spending. Spend on a character when you need him to finish an event. Spend on a character when you can't finish, an, you know, when you just need him to do something specific. Otherwise, no spending at all. Um, he's, he's just really hoards all of his stuff. We're going to give you some real examples of that at the end of the roster. So if you look here at the beginning, it's kind of standard. We got Kai and Master Wu. We got an extra 10 tiles of Master Wu, probably some from timed events. Lloyd, Zane. Um, those four are all maxed out. Garmadon down here is maxed out five stars, getting close to six stars. One thing of note there, you know, Nooch started playing in late June, somewhere in June of 2020, maybe August, maybe July, I'm not sure. And Nooch has almost as many Garmadon tiles. Maybe I'm only like three shy of Bricktini. So maybe Bricktini's missed finishing some Brickspeditions or getting to Brickspedition every now and then. So maybe not even playing everything every single day. It seems like maybe he's... If Nooch is like 30 days behind on Brickspedition, because that launched in like it launched in June, but you can't start playing. So maybe um, Bricktini's maybe a, missed some Brickspedition days there in the middle. Uh, we got Locust seven stars. These guys are all max seven stars. You see Commander Cold. We can start to see here down here at the end. Valiant is only level 56. So we start to, to uh, veer off a little bit down there toward the bottom of that. And this next page here, we've got um, seven star Redbeard. That's Redbeard under there. Yeah, seven star gear six. He's only level 56 also. Uh, Kelvin is level 60. You know, you, here's where you, you see where he's saving. Jester Gogo is seven stars. Um, he's gear six, but he's only level 50. You can kind of, you can kind of keep your eye on that all the way through his roster. He's got that. He's got these seven star characters or even like down here on Sal. He could seven star Sal right now. He could level him up right now, but he's kind of just waiting, waiting for that moment when he really absolutely needs Sal at seven stars. So he's got it saved there. That'll give him some extra master tiles too. He's got 47 there. That'll be 470 master tiles. That's good for three tiles of Jens or Willa or whoever he wants to get. So uh, again, you can kind of see there. Um, what Brictini has done, and you can really see it here clearly, as he's farmed up his his pirates. So if we look at the first couple of places here, we've got uh, we've got Ninjagos and pirates and space. Those are the ones he's really farmed up. So we got Ninjagos. There's four right at the top, and then then Garmadon right here. There's your five Ninjagos. Boom, done, maxed out. That's the arena team. That's what he's going with. Then we've got a couple. We got three space here. Locust, Spaceman, Rita, Commander, Cole. Just they're at gear six. Level 60, seven stars, so they're kind of close to max. And then a couple of pirates at level 56. And then another pirate here, another pirate here, another. So he's got all of his pirates, seven stars, gear six, level 56. And with that, I'm assuming he was able to beat the final node of, of uh, Redbeard's Hidden Treasure. That would be the, the, the weekly Peglegs, Peglegs Treasure. 
the weekly gold event that we all we all farm every week so that level 56 seven star gear six you can target that for maybe your your base level to complete that event because that's what Brickini does he gets to the base level completes it and then stops so he can he can uh, hoard everything else that he needs right there then you look at, at this at the uh, space so we've seen the Jago and pirates so far now space 60 for locust 60 for space Ben Reed 60 for commander cold all seven stars all gear six we have Dr. Kelvin, seven stars, gear six, level 60. Looking for one more space. There he is, Bricko, Black Turn Dwayne, everybody's favorite loser. <laughs> uh, let's don't, get, don't get off on rants, Nooch. Okay, so there's Black Turn Dwayne. He's also level 60, gear six. I'm going to assume I'm going to assume that he's got Ghost down. In fact, I know he does. Where is he? There's Ghost. So he's leveled up those space characters to the minimum level to get Ghost at six stars so he could six star right now look, look at that he's got 92 tiles for ghost above and beyond that now i'm going to assume that he got those from the all-star event and from some timed events maybe he saved up some gems and opened a bag i'm not I, that doesn't i don't think that happens so but you see he has not level ghost is actually level one if we switch over to uh let's go over to here so you can see ghost up here is level one and as i got this so i can go back and forth so uh, he's not leveling up. You're going to see, we're going to, we're going to, we'll go, whoa, 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 Nooch is getting lost, lost in this new format that he's set up just for this. So what you're going to see is when we get past this, um, there's, there, so this first page is all space pirates and Ninjago. Then we got businessman Trent. That is Bertini's. That's his guy. He, that's his, uh, that's his, <laughs> his, his, uh, his, what do we call it? His avatar on on Discord. That's not what you guys call it. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so he's got that city. He's got another city. He's not really focused on these other guys. He's just mainly focused on the pirates and the jagos and the space. And what that has yielded is Peglegs Treasure, um, Ghost, Mass, and Master Wu, and an arena team. That's what those teams have put together for him at the top of his roster. And once you get past those, you start to see a lot of characters. Level 50, level 55. Now he's got all the stars leveled, stars up. So Firefighter Ash, 75, 175, 325. You got enough to seven star Firefighter Ash. This hasn't done yet. Not a lot of reasons to seven star Firefighter Ash. What this is going to do is give him maximum flight. You see, he's got all these stars down here. He can seven star all of these characters. He just isn't doing it. He's holding on to that gold to make sure he's got maximum flexibility whenever something comes up. So when a new event comes up, or, or a new brick pace or a new all-star or whatever he's prepared to level up whoever he's got see he's got scarlet at seven stars he's even got his ghostbusters here uh ray could be four venkman could be four egon egon could be four stars also but he's just kind of holding on to him but i'll bide my time he's biding his time waiting for the right moment when he needs to snap and get those guys done now i'm a little surprised when I see like when I see the cold characters, when I see um, techie characters, you know these are guys that could have been using that All Star event. I'm very surprised at Magisto. Magisto is at a very base level, six stars, 50 extra tiles, has not touched him at all. That that is a that is kind of a shocker. You don't see that very often at all, uh, very often at all. Scarlet's another one. You see a lot of her leveled up with everybody, and Bertini is just holding on. He's just. You know, that takes a tremendous amount of discipline. All these guys are level one that you're looking at right now. Um, even Spaceman Gent, you know, Nooch loves him so much. He could level him up to six stars right now, which is where Nooch has him. Will of the Witch could be four stars. So I, I, I don't want to keep going over and over it again, but clearly Bricktini is the master of hoarding. He's displaying a tremendous amount of discipline while farming his characters. He's got just about anybody that's able to be farmed at a high level he's farmed at a high level and he's he's staying disciplined to keep those characters down low so he can pounce when needed hasn't even gotten primo no slimer no gore well that's one tile that's actually surprising um you know you'd think you'd pull her in a bag every now and then just get lucky ah, water break so that's uh but i guess he you know he's not paying He's not paying for the booster pass. He's not getting that free bag on a daily basis. So it does kind of make some sense. So you can see here, you really get the feel for what he's doing. Let's get a little bit more feel here. Oh, wait, sorry. We got to get to the sets first. So he's got El Dorado. These are all maxed. All the pirate sets are maxed out. And you see he's got some set 
set ability saved up. He's not got him yet. Two there, four here, four here. Um, one thing I know that Brickteen is doing, he's working on this Lego house. And we're going to talk about how hoarding has enabled him to get on that Lego house because it sounds like they're going to rework it with this new collectible launch here at the end of the month, this new update nine with all the collectibles. They're going to rework Lego house for those collectibles. And so he started farming that. And there's only one place to farm it. We'll talk about that in one short second. But you can see he's got all these. Uh, obviously, the Alpha Centauri outpost is just kind of low star because that's only in the brick pace event. The uh, the Quincy brick pace event. And you can see on all these all these sets, he's got Dojo maxed out. There's no no ability to spend there. So he's got he spent everything he can on there. Um, it looks like I think there was one more, probably for no Forbidden Island. He's so he maxed out Raft Raiders, but not Forbidden Island. That's really interesting. Although if he's got the number, the first ability and the last ability for Forbidden Island maxed out, that's all you need. You don't need those middle ones at all. They're unnecessary. So, so that's really the 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 way this the Bertini's roster goes. It is a hoarding. Oh, you see, he's got eight thousand gems saved. I, I don't know why Nooch is not. I kind of glossed over that. Eight thousand gems saved. Now let's get into some interesting stuff here. Two thousand eight hundred and forty-five tier three green ability elixirs. That, my friends, is hoarding. <laughs> Holy cow! Holy cow! That is doing some hoarding. My goodness, Bertina, I you Nooch, I think, has like is saved up two hundred. Is kind of proud of himself for doing that. I mean, that's unbelievable. Six to almost seven thousand blue elixirs, and none of his heroes need it. He's got them all used. Although that's because he hasn't leveled up his heroes. That's part of the, the thing there. But seven thousand of those, seventeen hundred tier two set tools. You didn't give me the tier three. Two hundred sixty fancy apple threes. It's about forty one fancy apples for each of those characters that you upgrade that ability so you're looking at like six characters that he could upgrade their max ability with those fancy apples right now so that's pretty cool uh four million <laughs> xp scrolls left that's about 40 million to spend in gold so he's got a lot of flexibility there too and here's all of his uh shop currency you've got oh boy i'm gonna i'm gonna mess these up Eighty-two thousand in the oh you're just gonna let me open the game <laughs> i'm gonna get it wrong i think this is arena and this is Brickspedition, or is this Brickspedition? Oh, Nooch, Nooch, Nooch. You gotta know. You gotta know your currency, Nooch. Let's see here. We're looking at the stores. Yeah, Brickspedition right here. And and uh, well, well, hang on. Mashup, Brickspedition, Mashup, Guild, and Arena. So what he's doing with this Guild? He actually had this higher. But the guild shop is the only place you can buy the Lego house, and he's been shopping that ever since the collectibles were announced maybe a few weeks ago. So uh, that was actually in the seventy thousands, and he's he's been, and that's that's part of the benefit of being able to be disciplined enough to hoard. Nooch is a hoarder, but I have not been able to be stay disciplined. I want to play these events and have fun. I, I mean, this is incredible. This is like this is probably a couple hundred dollars worth of hoarding here of value that he's got saved up. And he's able to level up the Lego house. Nooch is actually behind on the Lego house right then. I'm not there right now on that one. So that's it, guys. That's Bertini's roster. That can really show you long-term what you can do if you're willing to hoard. And if you can play free-to-play, you can be successful. You can hoard up your stuff. I would imagine he's using, uh, he might still be using Ninjago in Arena. And guys, let's be honest. Right now, being at the top of Arena is not necessarily the most important thing. He might be able to go to the Pirates 2 with the Forbidden Island set or some combo of that. But... You know, Nooch hangs out in the 40s and 50s of Arena because that's an easier place to be able to do those timed quests. And, and the return of value on the timed quests, Nooch feels is more valuable than the Arena currency that you get for finishing at the top of Arena. This, I have to do, I have not done the math on it, so I don't have anything official there. But there you go. Brick Teeny's roster review, just to show you what you can do as a free-to-play player. Hopefully, that maybe that helps some of you out there to see what you can do if you can just save up your stuff and hoard and get yourself set up for future events. And if you're looking at doing that, um, you should continue to always remember with our new format and our switched around that. That on the screen, Nooch too good. Of course, you enjoyed laying witness to this video. Subscribe here on Lord Vader. Watch another video over here. Remember Nooch too good.